Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. Am I the only one who remembers that song? Don't worry, be happy. Are you happy? Seriously, happy. I mean, I don't mean like, you know, you're going through the motions and you feel good. You know, I mean happy. As in just like happy. Where does that happiness come from? Does it come from inside? Does it come from external factors or a mixture of both? I don't know. Where does happiness reside? Some would contend that, uh, you know, you can find happiness. I would agree with them. Sometimes happiness is elusive, depending on, you know, what's going on in your life at the time. And there are things that you may be able to do to make yourself happier. At least uh, that is what Smogzy in the chat room at live.perillo.com thinks. He sent me a top five list of how to stay happy at home or at work. And I happen to be happy because I work at home. And my work feels less like work and more like play because I pretty much live on the internet all day. And every once in a while I rhyme. I just think that way. Don't worry, I'm, I'm happy. Not... <clears throat> Number one, stay positive. Even if you have a lot to work on that uh, you may not think is possible in the time given, take two seconds to stop and think. Then write down all the things you need to do. Then start on your work. As you complete a task, tick it off the list. You'll feel much better if you actually tick something off a list rather than just thinking you've done something as you will re-ask yourself if you've done that task. So for, for some people, and this doesn't work for everybody, they have to write things down to scratch them off. I, people have said this. Everybody's got their own way of completing things that they need to do, whether at home or whether at work. You are going to have to do something, right? And if you feel like it just never ends, like, oh, it just never ends. I can't get happy because I can't get to the point where I'm just happy and just done. Maybe you need to write things down only to scratch them off as you complete them. It, you've got some degree of satisfaction because you can see how much you're actually doing. Like, well, it's not as bad or as overwhelming as I thought it was. If your mind works that way, well, work with your mind. Number two, have a laugh. When work gets too serious, it becomes a chore rather than something you enjoy. Spend a minute or two talking to a neighbor, worker, or someone around the house about what they're doing, and you'll learn more about their role in the company and most likely end up chatting about you and their, you know, interests. And that will make you happy. Well, potentially happy, depending, of course, if who you're talking to is actually saying something of interest. I mean, usually... Uh, if I'm engaging in conversation and I want to be interested, it has to relate to, well, personal matters or technology in general. Uh, if someone, you know, kind of goes off on a tangent that I'm just, like, not interested in talking about, I will just, like, space. I mean, I'll be courteous and everything, but I, I really won't do much to kind of keep the uh, conversation going. You know, imagine a conversation like this huge beach ball that you kind of bat around, and if the other person's not interested, that, that beach ball is going to smack them in the face and it's going to fall on the ground. And you just don't want that. Um, so, you know, as long as you, you know, are aware of what makes you happy, then you can begin to surround yourself by, uh, well, f things, people, whatever, uh, to help keep you happy. And, it's, you know, it's a, it's a process. Things don't happen overnight, and sometimes you just kind of luck into it. Sometimes it's just fate that you become happier than you are today. You never really know, if you believe in fate, that is. Number three, beating work is a chore. That whole mindset. When going to work every day, it can eventually become a chore, and you get the Monday morning effect like, do I have to, just to beat this. Think of something that you want to buy or you're saving up for. In my case, or his case, he says, he's wanting to buy a Mac Pro. Then every time you think, do I have to, thinking of getting that Mac Pro soon, you'll instantly forget that you're at work and you'll think about what it'll be like to have that item whilst your brain does your work without you even thinking. It's true. If you don't have a goal, if you have nothing to look forward to, then it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to be happy if you're not in a very happy place. And granted, it's sometimes a, a bit of a challenge, if you will, if, you, if you've got something that you really, really want, like you are just bursting with excitement because you just can't wait that it's just like that that one thing just this something so it could be something so simple but yet you know that is going to bring you just immense amounts of happiness and whether 
that happens to be something temporary or something temporary that grows into something that's you know long term it's still something you can look forward to and if you have nothing to look forward to you are going through the motions number four the boredom feeling are you bored at home? Have a look into your cupboard or attic and grab that old console, game, film that you haven't seen for the last two years and play it. You'll find like it's like playing it for the first time. When bored at work, ask others if they need help with anything. If they need help, help them, and then time will go much faster if you do, and they will make you help you feel much happier. I don't know if I necessarily consider going to somebody else and saying, how can I help you to make myself feel happy? I think it would alleviate boredom, certainly, uh, and that's kind of his whole idea of alleviating a boredom with this point. Um, but I think the idea is, is preoccupy yourself or, you know, take stock in what's around you and, and make do with what you've got. You know, you, you're, you're doing the best that you possibly can. And if you are bored, you know, there are things that you can do that uh, are pretty simple. So long as, uh, well, it's like the people who stop in the chat room, you know, they'll say, I'm bored. I'm like, well, that's not my problem. I'm not necessarily here to do everything just for you. I am. I, I do my best, but I also have other stuff going on. I gotta, I gotta, con, you know, keep all that other stuff going. I got, I got my work to do. I've got a personal life as well. Uh, but that, that doesn't keep me from streaming the the chat room and, and with the video and everything. It's the reason why I do that, you know, because I can't pay attention to everything, and and we have plenty of people in here who can. Number five, learning. When you're at work and do not feel very happy, ask your boss if you could learn some new tasks that other people in the office do. She, he or she may be happy that you asked and are asserting yourself on the job. You'll be happy as you'll be learning something new that you've never done before. You know, the day I stop learning is probably the day I'm, I'm dead. Uh, I have always strived to learn something new. I mean, some days are better than others. But that is one of the reasons why I became addicted to the Internet, really, um, you know, why I believed in its power for such a long time, because there's always something new to do. There's nothing, it doesn't get old. I mean, there's always something new. Either it's news or uh, software, or service, new hardware announcement, or just something, you know, that's happening. And certainly learning is a part of it. You know, through serendipity, I click a link and suddenly now I'm just thrust into the middle of a website and going, oh, I didn't know that before. Well, that's kind of interesting. And even if it's not, you know, reading a whole tome of information, if I learn just one small thing every day, think about that. My knowledge is stronger today than it was yesterday. Just from thinking about something that I didn't think about before. And does that make me happier? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's growth. If you can't grow, well, what are you doing? Growth should make you happy. And we all grow in different ways. Uh, but ultimately, um, you know, I hope you have happiness. And if you don't have happiness, I hope you can get to a place where you can find happiness. And that could be a challenge, I know. Uh, you know, you may be in circumstances that are a little beyond your control. And in that case, you know, if you can adjust to, you know, possibly find a way to get happy or happier or happy again, take that step. So long as the reward outweigh outweighs the risk, or you may have to wait until you're at a point where you can make some changes in your life to make yourself happy. But I'll tell you this. Life's too short not to be happy. It really is. And hopefully your life will not be short. Uh, hopefully it'll be, you know, ten times as long as you think it's going to be. And uh, that should make you happy, unless, of course, you're, like, puttering around the old folks' home, uh, you know, at 150 years old, going, Damn it, I shouldn't have listened to Grace Perillo. You may do that. I don't know. Maybe that makes you happy to think about that. I'm just saying. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe... You have some ideas on how people can be happy or happier. Feel free to pass them along. But look at that. That kind of makes me happy. It's a screensaver. See, it's the little things, you know? It's not the big things. Well, sometimes it's the big things, but it's the little things that just get you through. Sometimes it's something on your computer. Sometimes it's someone you connect to on the internet. Sometimes it's something that sits across the room. Sometimes it's something under your desk. Ah! Oh, nope, sorry. I don't know. It's just. It's just. Sock fuzz. Thought it was something else. <clears throat> ah, don't worry. Be happy. Email me, Chris at Perillo.com, or stop by the chat room. Uh, we're you know doing this whole Chris Perillo experience thing pretty much 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Typically talking tech. 
Uh, and, you know, when I'm not able to pay attention to everything that's going on with the camera, the chat room, and everything, we do have plenty of people, like, plenty, like, hundreds of people who are more than happy to chat it up with you. And uh, the only way to find out is to stop by. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.